Greetings, fellow denizens of planet Earth, and welcome to the man room of Casa Vanthi. Come in, come in, make yourselves at home, but only if you have the testicles of highly polished stainless steel to stomach a tale of such bowel-strangling horror, you may never sleep without the lights on again. You do? Then are you sitting comfortably? Let us begin. Once upon a midday dreary, Shrewsbury town was quiet and eerie. Well, at least that was the theory, until a knock came at my door. Cacophonous was the rapping, as though the gods themselves were clapping. Someone out there needed slapping. Anger stirred within my core. Who the fuck is that, I muttered, knocking down my bloody door? This I thought, and nothing more. But as the plastic flapping blinds gave shape to terrors in my mind, so frightened me to think what kind of horror lurked beyond my door, so much that now to blow my fleeting heartbeat, I stood here repeating, Piss off! Or receive a beating like you've never felt before. That should stop the ghoul entreating entrance to my chamber door. This I hoped, and nothing more. Presently, my soul grew colder. Terror seized me by the shoulder. Striving to appear much bolder, off I tiptoed to my door. Alas, the fact is I was faking. Head to toe, my body quaking. Oh, blood a government forsaking, damply squelched I crossed the floor. But lo, no elvish demon stood awaiting as I wrenched my door. Not quite, but almost, bugger all. For there, upon my welcome mat, a heaving pile of papers sat, chaotic, roiling sea of tat like nothing I'd espied before. A card, both red and white in hue, upon it written was some clue. We called, but you were out. Screw you! It lay there mocking from the floor. But that was merely the beginning of the suffering I bore. Christ upon a bike. There's more. Next, a letter on my doormat, printed in computer format. Mrs. Binfed, we are sure that you have won fifty pounds or more. Act today, don't sit in slumber, simply text or call this number. Useless shite will then encumber you with daily evermore. <sighs> but trembling I quested for, a frighted eyes red rimmed and sore, darkness there and nothing more. Expediting through my searches, Tesco's vouchers came to surface, 50p off your next purchase of our new improved Lenore. With, of course, the small provision, inconsequential we decision, from this day forth accept our mission, trade not with another store. An accidental windy draft may apprehend you from your path and down an elevator shaft to land on bullets three or four. A threat? Lord, no, the very thought. The next communique I read with ever-mounting sense of dread. Vault labour, not some twat instead! It sought to coerce and implore. It promised that with fervent gusto, someone with a manifesto would return again and just so he could terminally bore. The end looked nigh, oh, woe was me, but one clear option did I see. Wrong live the NSDAP! I hollered, slamming shut my door. A thousand year reich, or more. Finally, as I meandered, endless streams of propaganda, a pamphlet titled Save the Pandas, had <laughs> me laughing at a roar. Two sad eyes looked out, aghast at habitat both burned and blasted. It's so brave, you silly bastard! Bamboo shoots are quite piss poor. Obtuse creatures, species flagging, far behind their numbers lagging. Perhaps if you attempted shagging, I'd have succour for your cause. Serves you right, you're never more. And now, survive my brush with horror, I have seized upon tomorrow, nailing planks and setting IEDs against my chamber door. 
so let the dastard postman come. I have a pitten pendulum. A judge to slice off both his plums with satisfying grisly gore. The only problem I foresee, these countermeasures to thwart me from leaving periodically and setting forth through my front door. Sod it. I'll stay here evermore.